Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Local Anxiety Podcast. My name is James Kasha and on today's episode I want to talk about why I love podcasts, my introduction and why my obsession with it it still goes to this day. So by definition, a podcast is a digital audio file made available on the internet for downloading to a computer or mobile device. Now I gotta be honest with you, back in 2011 when I first heard the phrase podcast, I was I was turned off by it. <laughs> but let's just go straight into it. I mean, the word is so weird. I was already prejudging it and you can also hear that I'm almost still almost judging it still to this day. I have a problem with judging a book by its cover, and I've got stung with it in the past for so many things of just missing out on things or being a little bit late to the party. But I am so glad that I pressed through on this this particular one. So let's take you back. Let's take you back to what led me into the world of this obsession that I still currently have. Back in 2011, one of my favorite film directors, Kevin Smith, uh, wrote an article um, about his upcoming movie, Red State, that was coming out. And to me, I was like, I was all over it. I mean, I needed to know anything about this new film. I was obsessed. So I raced over to the website. After reading the article, he mentioned that he talked about it on his podcast. I was like, oh, oh, he's got one of those? Oh, all right, all right. Well, let's let's go see what this is. So I head over to his website at the time, and he had a whole website dedicated to podcasts, and he had a whole network of other podcasts as well. And so I clicked on the link to one of his interviews, and I started to listen. And I tell you, it was a transforming experience. Not only was it interesting, but it was uncensored, it was unfiltered, it was raw. It was just him talking about his movie with somebody else interviewing him and asking him questions and it was, he wasn't gauging how he was speaking or he wasn't following a script, it was just an actual conversation that went on for more than an hour. Now, if you flick onto your, your TV channel or you watch the news, any interview is not going to last too long, and they're going to be very careful what they say, and it's going to be very controlled, and the person gets a list of questions of where not to go, where to go. This seemed like it was live, like it was it was a conversation that was being eavesdropped on, and I was transfixed. So I couldn't get enough of it, so I kept listening to his podcasts, and and then all of a sudden, he started having some of his friends on, some of the friends that he grew up with on the show. And later to find out that these friends are the ones he based some of his best characters in his movies off of. And I was even more obsessed. I was like, oh my God, and these guys are funny. These guys are very, very funny. Turns out they're way more funny than even the characters that are portrayed in the movie, which at the time I didn't think was even going to be possible. And then I found out they had their own podcast on Kevin Smith's network too. And the show was called Tell Him Steve Dave. And that was a quote from one of his movies, uh, Mall Rats. It was one of my favorite movies of all time. And I've always, I was always obsessed with the lore of like, who are these guys? Who are these characters? Why do they mean? What do they mean to the overall story? Later to find out that they're pretty much based off of the main character from Mallrats and the other main character from Cl- or the other secondary main character from Clerks. And the next years are just absolute bliss. I mean, I caught all the way up to the their current episodes at the time because they were only doing it for about a year. So I believe there were only about 40 episodes, 40 or 50 episodes in. So I quickly caught up right away to current and then I found myself jonesing for the next episode. Weekly, it was being released. And this was free content. This is all free. And this is the other magic that is podcasting is that it is a free thing. You can go grab them off the internet. You get these long-form, amazing conversations with very interesting people. 
and it's just spoken word, man. It's just spoken word. It, this is my music. A lot of people say they're, they love music and it's their whole life. I was never that person. I mean, I enjoy music when it's attached to something that I connect with, like a movie. But for me to just go and turn on an album and just listen to it all the way through, it just, it's not going to happen. I, I, when I was driving, I would pretty much didn't even have the radio on. I couldn't stand hearing all the, the same songs over and over again. It just wasn't my thing. So when this came out, this spoke to me like, where has this been my whole life? <laughs> so I want to tell you how it makes me feel. I probably already just did it, but I'm going to tell you again. It takes me almost like I'm into the room with them and just getting to eavesdrop on people that are friends or family or whatever, just having a conversation, an intimate conversation with each other. And what spurred it on is just the the improvisational of it all. Like it's all on the fly. And these are people just reacting and and, and becoming who they are on the microphone. And you can tell at the beginning, some people that just start out, they're a little nervous, a little shy. I mean, I can tell you the same thing for me. I mean, when I first started doing this, it was it was awkward. Uh, I'm still finding my footing, but I'm getting more comfortable behind the mic. But I, I got to see a progression. And taking back to one of my favorite podcasts still to this day, and it's been, it's been nine years that I've been listening just consistently. Every time a new episode comes out, I mean they become almost like part of your family. It is so weird because you just get to hear so much about their lives and who they are and what they find funny or what they find interesting. And you get to be a fly on the wall for the conversation. And it feels like it's pirate radio. I mean, there, yeah, some of them take on sponsors, but guess what? You can tell your sponsors, this is who I am. This is my content. This is what I do. And this is my style. But it's not about making money. It's about making people laugh, connecting to others, sharing your stories. And so I'm going to throw the question to you guys. What is your favorite podcast? What was the first one you listened to? What caught your attention? And is there any long-term podcast that you're, you've been listening to that you still do, this, still do to this day? I'd love to hear it. This has been a brief one. This has just been a, a little rant of excitement because I love podcasts so much and I hope you guys get the same joy out of it that I do. And if you know somebody who doesn't listen to, to any podcasts, try and suggest some. I mean, who knows? Maybe you want to suggest this one. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it for this week's edition of the Local Anxiety Podcast. My name's James Kasha and hope you guys have a good week.